Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I will be your cruise director on the Magical Mystery Tour today. We are diving into the Too Faced New Smaller Palettes, the Cold Shoulder Nudes and the Warm Ember Nudes. We'll be doing a bit of a comparison to the Natural Nudes as well, but before we get to that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell to be alerted to any new uploads. And if you like this video at the end, please give it a big thumbs up. Let's get to it. Okay, so a couple of months ago, Too Faced brought out the Cold Shoulder Nudes and the Warm Ember Nudes. A nice, smaller, travel-friendly palette. A lot of people have had the Natural Nudes, which is a staple palette for so many people if you like neutral colours. So first up, let's compare. This is what the Natural Nudes look like. Great colour range for everyone light warmer rosy tones and then these really caramelly and darker tones in it these palettes are a bit smaller obviously they also slightly whilst they look the same and come from the same family they have a clip so whereas the other one just folds shut each come with six shades in them obviously the cold shoulder nudes is very cool tone a lot of people have been waiting for this one in particular whereas the warm ember nudes are warm with a bit of rosiness to them what i will say just comparing i'll insert some swatches now for the cold shoulder nudes as you can see super super cool tone in there um, some great shimmers along with that and now we have the warm ember nudes there's a couple of rosy colors there and then this leans very very warm and again inserting some swatches now for you to take a look at it's great that there's three mattes and three shimmers in each what i'll do at the end is put a comparison swatch between um, this palette in particular and the natural nudes because what i will say i'm not too worried about the cold shoulder nudes but the warm ember nudes as you can see there's completely different color story but if you have this one let's take a look and be honest here this pretty much looks like it comes from this palette we have these two here this here this here this looks close enough to here this is sort of a cross between those two and that's that so if you have the natural nudes or member nudes i think you give it a skip to be quite honest going to start with doing a look from warm ember nudes just because it is one that we obviously is the closest to the natural nudes we'll go in with that and then we'll go in with the cool tone one which i'm actually a bit excited about because super cool tone now Hmm. I'm just trying to decide. Look, I'm not going to use all the shades. I just can't. Uh, I think. I'm going to skip these two rosy tones today. I think going in with the shade Warm Ember. We might be lucky enough, people, that I can actually read these ones without my glasses on. Good or shock. This is a lovely warm light to mid-tone shade. So just fluffing that out as our transition right across. Oh, we are freshly, like a real freshly in the last hour, dyed and brows. Um, so I've got my angry brows on. That is literally how dark they go in three minutes when I dye them. It's just got some uh, setting clear setting hold in them they are dark now what i will say about two faced eyeshadows 
is they're not as buttery as some of the others on the market. They're not as buttery as your Natasha's or um, Huda or even Anastasia, but obviously they still work really, really well. Going into Cream Puff. Just on that outer corner. And we're not going super difficult. This is pretty standard shades. If um, back into that first transition shade. If for some reason you hadn't pulled the trigger on the natural nudes and these colours interest you but you're a bit intimidated by the amount of different neutral shade, then this might be the one for you if you are after warmer tones. However, I stand by if you already have it, you can give this one a skip. So I've just gone back in there. You can see I've blended blended it out here and I'm just building it up a little there. Nothing major, two shades there, really super easy. I've just gone in with a nude eyeliner now and going straight under the eye with that cream puff darker shade. As you can see, I've just poked myself in the eye for starters. Um, as you can see, this is just a super easy look to do. Which says as much about the eyeshadow as it does about dropping down just to using a couple of shades. To be quite honest, I've just gone in with the lighter, what we used on our transition. So just using those two brownish warmer mattes over the pink, rosy pink. Just using that to blur it out. And just lastly back in, just with a little bit more there. I don't know if you can see, I've got a little dark patch there. My finger had eyeshadow on it and I pulled my eye down to touch up my eyeliner. Right, we'll keep moving, shall we? So again, not going in with that shimmer, but Going in with the darker shimmer there and the lighter one. I mean, that's really rich. That is roasty toasty. And just tapping. Oh yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Clean my finger off so I don't stick it on my face. And then going in with Golden Girl. Oh, look at that. That's more intense than I actually thought it would be. It's chunky though. Ah, oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, I just wanted to show you. So I've got swatched that shimmer. And then either side, I've got these two shimmers. So this is more intense now. I don't know if it is um, the newer one. I don't know if it's a slightly different formula, improved formula, or if it's the fact that that's getting a little bit old now. So getting a little bullet pencil brush and adding a little more of that. Just, yeah, see, there's not a lot of power when I do it that way. Finger it is. What I will say when I said that it was slightly chunky is, I don't know if you can see, I've had a couple of specks of fallout, nothing major, and it is brushed off really easy. 
just going into roasty toasty that last shade just now just to add back right on the edge there to blend and one last go sorry that's from looking upside down that was cream puff the shimmer is roasty toasty And that's where we are. I am going to put some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is the Warm Amber Nudes. This is what we are looking like. She's nice. So the Cold Shoulder Nudes is what I am excited about. These look really grey based, which is a bit of a, a lot of people have been really looking for um, something that does have that grey base that doesn't lean too pink or slightly warm with it uh, to no avail. So this could be right up their alley. Uh, I will probably use more shades in this to be honest. Let's go in. This is the shade Cold Shoulder. There's a bit of fallout there. And not getting, oh, it's a really subtle colour payoff. Not bad, but it's taking a bit to show anything. So, I mean, can you see? You can just just see that am i am i cold <laughs> my gray don't that's concerning if i am but giving a good wash all over the eyelid with this just because of the fact that it is so subtle don't know if you can see the big giant head there i am um got a pimple that just won't come to a head going into the shade driftwood now which is this one here this is where we'll see colors oh, yeah see straight away i don't think that's a bad thing that it's um that there's not a lot of colour in that like real coverage I don't think you necessarily need to see it I think it'll come into its own when I use it to really blend after she is grey based for sure look at that bring that up towards the centre Tilting the head back so I can blur, push it up and out, blur it out. Going back into that first shade now, just using it immediately blurs out that edge line, which is great. Okay, getting a flat packer brush now and going into the shade Earthy. And it's not Earthy spelled as in Earth, it's U R T H Y. She's dark, so. not black it's like a really really deep it's cross between like a deep espresso and a black hot she's dark and she's very cool tone you can see like here it looks like it's got a deep burgundy-ish not even a burgundy, maybe a deep purple base, but here she's looking near black. So going in with a slightly fluffier brush now and just seeing what happens when I start to blend that. I think I'll clean off my brush. I 
just working around the edge oh, she's dark Again, a little bit of fallout, nothing too major. You know what, if you are wanting to darken your outer eye, you might even be better off using this first and then building your colours over it, to be quite honest. So now, you know the drill we're going to, because of how intense this is, we're going to work our way backwards. Straight over the edge and that will soften it immediately. And then back into that. I'm really trying to soften that a little bit because It's super matte. And you just work your way between the two, the different brushes that you're using. You don't always necessarily need to put more on. Uh, sometimes, as you've seen that I do, I clean my brushes off just to have the workability to push around the shading shadows that are there. Okay, so here we are now with Hot. Like she's cool tone looking at the difference already um, and the intensity on that so before I put shimmer I'm going under the um, eye to line now using that darkest and just using that like a liner just slightly and under the eye all the way across you don't need to dip in there is plenty on this brush it's quite intense and pigmented as you can see okay in with that mid-tone matte now tapping the excess off getting it right at the angle here and smoking out this now obviously if you didn't use this darkest brown you wouldn't get near as intense smoky eye either on your outer corner god did you hear that gurgle either on your outer corner or underneath you could keep it quite light and just use that for lining your top lid should you wish and then I'm just going to go in underneath that with the lighter shade now we get to the shimmers we have three let's again they feel a little chunky ish it's a cool tone it's a mid mm. i've got it the wrong i should have used the other hand shouldn't i right so we're going with the darkest just right on the edge there that's just going to add dimension to that dark matte because it was really flat in its shade um, is my personal feeling whereas this gives it really nice dimension now um, I much prefer it with that going in with the mid-tone let's just tap it straight across the mobile lid And just over the join there. I'm going to clean off my fingers because as I get to that inner corner, it's not ideal to use that hand. So going in with my little finger in this lighter shimmer. And just tapping if you don't, if you do have nails, I would suggest a very small packing brush um, and spray it to get an intensity payoff. 
So that is where we are. I'm just going to do my mascara and I'll be right. Okay, so I have done my mascara and am back. I mean, they're very, very different, aren't they? Let's just isolate. So this is the Warm Ember Nudes. Super, super goldy. Like that bronzy sort of colour in there. Obviously, if you used the more pinky colour, it would have ended up more on that sort of rosy shade. And then, oh, she is cool toned. Like, super cool toned. Even the shimmer, like that inner, lighter inner corner shimmer, is not warm based. She's got a undertone that is more cool based. I will say, on both of them, the shimmers are chunkier um, than the natural nudes. Um, definitely chunkier, so just be careful to really press in so you don't end up with flakes falling out. That being said, I had flakes fall out. They just brushed off lightly, really easily. So that's not a problem. Just press, press, press. Um, this is really, really pretty. And I'm actually looking forward to using these shades I mean, all of these you could use just if you like a shimmer with a matte, two and done. Uh, just all over the the crease and, and fluffed out with a bit of shimmer on top of it. If you have this, you definitely do not need this. So that's just a thought um, to bear in mind. You get enough of um, what is in here, even though they're slightly different, that much talking to bees in it um, this however I have had a look at some of my Natasha palettes and she has a few cool tone I know a lot of people always say hers aren't quite cool enough for them this definitely is so this might be a better option than like the mini glam or one of those a few of the shades are similar to some of hers but much more cool toned I think think probably the one what I have closest to it and I haven't even checked yet um, as far as the mattes the cool tone of the mattes would be Pat McGrath uh, Mothership One Subliminal is that what it's called the one with the blue eyeshadow in it these look similar to her mattes that are in there but obviously a very very big price difference um, I really like this really like this I have recommended this to a lot of people that aren't sure where to start in the past they want something that is nude with a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of gradient over it this is an older palette now um, obviously so if you want something that is much easier to use if it's not going to do your head in while making decisions but is warm definitely would pick up this one over the two um, and there is enough variance in that so with the rosy and the warm tones again if you are after a true cool tone she's a great little palette great great little palette this one was the one I was most keen for and she's intense isn't she she's giving me a really really dark dark cool toned look um, take those super dark ones out of it and she's just a really, really nice, um, subtle, cool tone. Um, if you look at them there, that's not super dark. So that is it. Two different looks. What's your favourite? Warm tone, cool tone? Will you be picking either of these up? What one do you like the best? So until next time, you know the drill. Don't forget to tell your mum, tell your sister, tell your friends. Come along, subscribe, ring the notification bell, leave me a message, just say hi, tell me where you're from. Um, I like to hear all about that. Until next time, my loves, take care, bye.